Okay, welcome back. We have an interesting job ahead of us. We've got a player that can... There's enemies, there's a score, there's player. He's got hit points, he can die. Let's start adding some neat stuff in here. Right now we've got a score that shows on screen, but let's also have a timer. So, we enter a room. Or actually, we need to do this now. Create event. So let's say, uh, do timer equals zero. Step, we're going to say timer plus plus, which is the same thing as Plus plus just means increment it up by one, minus minus means down by one, or you could say plus equals one if you wanted. Um, but that's just some easy shorthand. So timer underscore plus plus. Now we need to display that. So let's go to draw GUI, as some people call it, but it's really GUI. Say draw text. Now remember, our room is much bigger our GUI is based on our viewport not our room size so we want it to be it's based on 1920 the width is 1920 not 480 so 960 that's showing up right in the middle of the room we want to be on the far right of the room and I think it's 20 I don't remember how big the font is it is 24 pixels tall, so we need to make it just left of the far right of the screen. We're going to have it up at the, yeah, let's have it, kind of want it in the center. So let's do this one at 968, the timer, it's going to be a, let's say time plus string, and then we're going to say floor timer and then three parentheses because we got to close this one this one and this one now right now they'd overlap so we need to change this to 1920 minus uh let's go up, up. let's go 12 pixels out and we will align this to the right So it's going to change a few things. First of all, like, uh, you know, the, the set H align is kind of like when you're doing paragraphs in Notepad or something. Like, if you've got Notepad here, like, timer, it's aligning to the left. Now it's aligning center. Now it's aligning to the right. So when we have a score, it's going to go up. We want it to count over from the right instead of the left. Otherwise, it just kind of... If you align it from the left, it's going to go off to the right. So, let's see how this looks. And also, floor means we're rounding it down. String, you know, says what this is going to be and the actual value it holds. Floor means it's rounding it down. Seal, as in ceiling, rounds it up to the top. And then round would just round it to whatever it is. But we're just going to go ahead and round it down. And display that time. Now when we play it, it's going up. Now it's just absolutely flying. It's going up really fast. Let's see how our score looks. See our score scoots to the left to make room for more time uh, for a higher score. And here in a second, this is going to scoot to the left a little bit, which I'm not real crazy about. I'd rather it align to the go to the right. This is let's see if we can do this. For the score, let's align. And I don't think it'll let me do this. Because I think you can only align it one way at a time. Pretty sure it's going to throw an error.
So the score is aligning to the it's, it's aligning to the left. Yeah, actually no, that worked just fine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the timer stays still and it'll kind of build over to the right. We're actually gonna center align that instead of to the right or to the left. Right, yeah, we're gonna hey no, we'll leave it there. And that is building appropriately. So that's cool. We are going to round this, however. Because what we need to do is floor timer divided by 60 because there are 60 seconds in a... I'm sorry, 60 seconds in a minute. See, now it's actually like the real timer now. One. There we go. Cool. Okay, there we go. All right, pretty good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. That was adding a timer to the game. We'll start another lesson with some more stuff. We'll keep adding on to it, don't worry.